What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Peas World. Let's get straight into it. Watch this woman get humbled by the mailman, and you will not believe why. You didn't see me flagging you down? No, ma'am, I did not. Okay, I was flagging you down. And by the way, this I want you to hear this. Okay, I need to see Greg's mail. Greg okay. Harrison. Uh, who are you? I'm his fiance. Okay. okay. Um, do you have a request? Yeah, I need his mail. No, that's not his <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a request? Yeah, I need his mail. I need a million dollars. Mail, I just pulled this from the blue box. That's not how this okay, works. Okay, so why didn't you stop when I was trying to flag you down? Uh, like I said, That's I didn't see you. Okay, so can I have his mail? I can down the mailman? No. You, you can't just have somebody's mail because you want their mail. Not how that works, ma'am. I can't just give you the mail. Well, I need it. Okay, so you can go to his house and get it. <laughs> see, this is a problem I'm having with him. What is your name? My name is Troy Aikman, man. Oh, <laughs> did he just say Troy Aikman? Stupid. Okay, and I need to see your identification. Uh, I need to report this out. Not, not required to give you any identification. You see what's going on here? This is what, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, I asked you nicely, can I see his mail because I'm his fiance. But you're asking me at an industrial park, not even close to where his house is. If you would have just stopped where I was. So that woman posts the video that the mailman made because he ends up seeing it. And Bro, good on this mailman because if he would have just gave her the mail, I'm pretty sure that's a felony. Look, she tries to make this video thinking that people will still side with her. Watch. Take a look at this. So I'm driving home from work. And lo and behold, prior to one of, the, one of my co-workers tells me that I'm on a video. So I look on the video, and there I am talking to this, for the lack of a better word, nutbag, who decides to tell me that I need to give her her fiancé's mail. While she's talking to her phone the entire time, then she threatens to call my supervisor. Well, as I look into it even more so, I find out how delusional this person is, and I'm sitting back and I'm wondering, what in the world? Then to top it off, the, I think the cherry on top, which made me laugh even more, was the fact that I see another one saying she's going to take me to court and that she needed to, you know, that she had the one thing she needed, which was my name. <laughs> Troy Aikman. You know what? I <laughs> Troy Aikman. <laughs> well, it was kind of silly to make this reply because now she knows that it's Edwin Enriquez. Laugh because, as most of you might have picked up, I mean, for those of you who didn't, Troy Aikman is a quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys who retired years ago. So here's the other video that she made where wow. she states that she will be taking this mailman to court. There's two sides of a story, okay? I didn't commit no... I said Karenita. <laughs> Melanie, all right? He wouldn't give me the mails, but it's okay, though. He gave me his name, Troy Aikman. All I needed was your name, and I'm taking you to court. If this isn't the dumb... How dumb do you have to be to think somebody's name is Troy Aikman? You uncultured swine. Not knowing who Troy Aikman is. That should be criminal. Especially if you're from Texas, which I don't know where they're from, but Lord have mercy on her soul. You don't know who Troy Aikman is? I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries, from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases, which is why I want to talk about Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they've won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working Working with them, they're going to fight for the money that you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for $12 million and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is, it's all free unless you win your case. Now, if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi, found in the description below, where you can start your free claim today. Before you guys say T, why are you even talking or whatever? This guy is my really, really good friend. And you know me, I will defend my friends to the ground. So yeah, first off, don't call my friend ugly because he's not ugly. Second off, he wasn't- Wait, Didn't you just call him ugly though? 
even attracted to you he didn't try to move to you as you can see he was just vibing and then he kept walking and it's just the way the caption is as a fine babe i shouldn't in capital letters be attracted who said you was a fine babe Shots fired! ugly man baby girl he wasn't attracted to you and he's not ugly and you're not a fine babe so the whole caption is just <sighs> obviously god made everybody different beauty is in the eye of the beholder everyone has a different preference of what they identify as fine babe so whatever but I'm here to tell the people what they don't know. That you're there calling him ugly, but you were moving to him after the video, wasn't you? <laughs> yeah, you was. <laughs> Bro, look at the way she's smiling at the end of that video, but you're acting like, oh, he's ugly, I don't want him around. But you danced in that video for a solid 30 seconds, and then you smiled as soon as he left. But what people don't know is when you cut off the camera, you ran after him and you gave him your Instagram. He didn't ask for it. He kept walking and you said, take my Instagram. And then you texted him. You think my friend is so ugly. Why would you go out of your way to text him? And then you're asking him, are you going to the after party? Meaning that you want to be around him. But what's annoying me is the fact that you can see that the guy's just vibing in the video. He was being nice to you. He didn't touch you. He didn't move to you. He didn't make a pass at you. He didn't make an advance at you. And he kept walking. And you decided to then come on social media and talk about him in a negative way. And as a black girl, I really don't think that you should be trying to advertise negative comments towards another black man. And now that you're getting them yourself, you don't like it, but you were happy enough to make that video so that other people could violate him because you thought that people were going to agree with you and they didn't. So obviously now people are in the comments calling you, you know, saying you look like a drug bar, calling you a UK beast and all that stuff. Obviously, I'm not going to jump on that bandwagon because I'm a black girl. You're a black girl. We should be on the same team. But I just don't appreciate what the fuck you were doing in regards to my friend when he was just being nice. I think you need to remember that the energy you put into the world is the energy that you get back and the fact that you thought that you were going to have people clown that man and it turned around and everyone just clowned you should be a lesson learned for you to not do that shit again. Anyway, side note, the guy in the video, he's called B Money. He's an artist, he's a songwriter, he makes his own songs, he raps, he sings, he does afro beats, he does so many different sounds. This man Hey, look, shouts. Hey. Shout out to her for defending her homie for real though, my dildo. Loki, somebody wants some beef jerky? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. We need more of that. We need more of women out here defending men. Because women are way too comfortable these, these days just shaming dudes for no reason. He was just standing back there. And then she wants to DM this man? The hypocrisy. But that's what they get. That's what they get. It's creep or blood fight. Which one are you helping? Creeper blood what? These kids are chilled. What do you what? Who you helping? You gonna help her? So all the parents involved in this little RT 20v1, they need to be locked up. All the parents involved Bro, in this. Why would you ever do a 20v1 with a child? These are children here. This show should only be for adults. 20v1. FBI, please come get these ninjas, because they need to be in jail. We all know the premise of these 20 V ones when we see them for the adults. There's no way you should be parading your kids around. Anybody under 18 who doesn't have a right mind parading these kids around in a quote unquote sexual flirtatious manner. What are we doing as parents? And I talked about little RT a few times. If y'all don't know, he's a rapper. Don't know where he's from. I think from Ohio, he did a song with Doughboy. And then the song Little RT featuring Doughboy, I think it's called 60 Miles. He's rapping some of the most adult lyrics at the age of eight. Talking about shooting people, uh, sexually explicit lyrics, and so forth. I almost bet you Little RT's mom is a... Single mom. Single moms produce the majority of the degeneracy, so I wouldn't be surprised. And his parents allows this. Keyword, his parents allow this and his parents have been dragging him all along social media for clout to try to get him to go viral so sick at what point is enough enough because going viral on the internet isn't always a good thing facts social media i mean hell look what happened to bevo <laughs> bevo went viral and then his entire his entire career tanked after he was on the whatever podcast because he got exposed as a cuck and Thought he was untouchable. Well, the internet will touch you, buddy. Oh, isn't always a good thing. So to the parent or parents or guardians of little RT, this rapper, what's the end goal here? 
What's the end goal? Because every time I see him on social media, whether it's TikTok or YouTube. Say it again. Say it again. I had to skip that. It's sick, though. You should never parade your kids around, especially like that. But we see that with, like, what, Baby Gronk? We're seeing that with um, Little RT, I guess. Now we're seeing that. Like, it is horrible. I can only imagine this clip not being great. It's probably going to be some toxicity. When you see the punch holes in the door, you can almost bet that something's about to go down. Brady, say it again. Say it again. Say it again. No, I want you to say it again, though. I do got it, but you're saying it again while you're going down the steps. You say I'm going to get beat up? I, if I get arrested for something I'm not doing? You did do it, though. It's not something you didn't do. It's something you did. You just admitted to choking. grabbing me in the doorway, did you not? So this did is you choking? not? That's not what this you did. Choking? You grabbed me by my neck. I grabbed you. You grabbed me by my neck. 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 Okay, so you want to say that? Okay. So when you times when your mom wasn't here, that's something you did. Yeah, I know. Okay, I did that. so I did that. that. Okay, so I know I did that. I'm gonna get beat up for that. I know. That's something you, you did. You like the big niggas. That's I'm something you did. What you want? No, that's something you did. No, that's something you did though. So you gonna get me beat up because of that? You get me. Never go back and forth with a woman. Just leave. Cause you got locked get up. You get okay. Well, Sorry. I'm getting assault, a threat too, cause what I'm and I'm pregnant. Is there still time? I'm getting assaulted. This and I'm pregnant and I'm this and I'm that. Like I saw the holes in the door. That's pretty much all I need to know. Especially if it's her place. More than likely, this woman has a violent past and maybe some violent tendencies. Just saying. Don't shoot the messenger. I think a lot of women need to start asking themselves. What true, real value are men bringing into your life? Because when I truly... Tell me you're alone without telling me you're alone. Shots fired! ...look at my relationships that I've had with women, and whether it's friendships, whatever, and then relationships, friendships, or whatever I have with men, I've gained way more positive life experiences, positive things qualities my life has drastically improved with the women in my life I that means you pick bad men stupid sorry you're the common denominator in all of this if you're not getting a lot of value out of the men you're picking more than likely you're picking bad men maybe you're good at picking friends because you're not looking at them in a sexual way but this just tells me that you got bad choosing signals when it comes to men honey this, this, what, what I don't get is these women don't understand. This makes you look bad. It doesn't make men look bad. It makes you look bad. I cannot say the same thing about the men. I cannot say the same thing about the men. So you don't know how to pick. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You don't know how to pick men. Just say it like it is. Like this makes her look bad. I, I don't understand that she doesn't understand this makes her look stupid. It doesn't make men look stupid. What true value are you really gaining from the men in your life? Can you really say, before you met this man, can you say that you there was something that you were lacking, there was something you were self-conscious about, there was something that you needed help with, and you can honestly say, once this man came into my life, X improved, this improved. These women are literally looking for a savior. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honey, you're just looking for somebody to come in and save you. You're looking for someone to come in and fund your lifestyle, treat you like a little princess, Basically be a father figure to you. Like, duh, no man's going to do that. You're grown. And more than likely, when it comes to friendships, you're actually putting up things to make yourself vulnerable so, so people can get to know you. If you're not going to be vulnerable in these you know, relationships with men, how do you expect any man to get to know you? And he can't bring you any value if he's not a valuable person. It just tells me you can't pick a good man. Improved. My confidence improved. My career grew. My Because... You're speaking about things that you have to fix as an individual. Like, I'm thinking thanks. like, I gain way more value from women relationships than I ever have a man relationship. Like, a man ain't never gave me nothing. Nothing. But women, absolutely. And not well, go be, hey, go, well, go be gay and go move in with your girlfriends. <laughs> Don't get on the internet and complain about what men ain't doing. Go be with your girls. If you love the girlies so much, come on. But in reality, she really wants a man. She really does want a man. She just doesn't know how to procure one. She doesn't know what qualities to look for in a man. I say that all the relationships I had with women were good. There were some women I fell out with, friends, friendships didn't work. But for the most part, 
the women in my life have drastically improved my life, improved my quality of life, improved, gave me some type of experience that I never had, helped me with my career, helped me with this, helped me with my confidence, helped me learn something, helped me with... Honestly, it just sounds like you're a bum. It sounds like you just need help. I'm sorry, but that doesn't sound like somebody... Like, you don't sound like someone uh, a man wants to be in a relationship with if you just need help. Something. So... Ladies, are, is your life really improving with that man in your life? What is he really doing? What can you say before he got there you didn't have or you lacked or you were negative about something and they helped you improve? Dude, misery just adores company. Misery absolutely loves company. And it's always these single women that get online talking about men ain't nothing, men ain't this. What, how did he improve your life? What did he do for you? Like, wh what are we as men? UPS? What can what can men do for you? You know what I mean? This is why I always say life is a mirror, not a window, bro. Like, what, life is a mirror, not a window. If you're not finding value out of the people that you're hanging around with, more than likely, you're not a person of value yourself. Let's jump into the subreddit really quick. This is from Embarrassed Joke. When you finally meet a man who has goals, isn't full of himself, asks you out at 12 p.m., not 12 a.m., and talks about his feelings, I like you as a friend. <laughs> sure, baby, I'll be your simp one. One folded dollar at a time. Can you break a five? <laughs> what is this? Karens get what they deserve. One hour. I love it. Let's get into this. Who is this? What's up, everyone? We've compiled. Sweetheart. You dumped water all over me. Yes. I don't even have any clothes to change into. Thank you. It's all your fault. Thank you. <laughs> This Karen over here claims to be all for black culture, but she quickly falls back to her old habits when those racial slurs come out of her mouth at her restaurant. Yikes. Uh -oh. This establishment is uh, not black owned, but using, you're stealing black culture. Is this not black culture? Trap tea, the boba plug? No, you're thieves. Asian Asian people stealing black, black culture once again. Once again. It's okay, you'll be exposed though. You're not black owned. You're stealing black culture. Thank you for coming. No, I came here because I thought it was black owned. That's why I came here. I told my friends, I'm supporting a black business. This is not black owned. You're not, this is not black owned. Asian stealing, stealing black culture. Once again, uh, you're don't talk. Karen's arguing with the teenager about the Good Lord. <laughs> trash bin. Don't worry, Karen gets uh -oh, uh -oh. exactly what she deserves. <laughs> Karen belongs with the trash. And they're just about to reunite. She yeah, ate you it could. Too. You straight up could. That's why your mirror's falling off and sh Yeah, because your quit move. My didn't move. Didn't move. I can't control where the city puts it. It's trash. <laughs> How about that? I got that on recording too. <laughs> Sure did. <laughs> Took her three business days to get up. <laughs> I did. Racist Karen. Dude, this is what this this is why I always say the way you feel about yourself is the way you treat everybody else. When you truly hate yourself, you treat other people with hatred. That's why love comes from the comes from within, dude. If you don't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. That's why I always tell guys like I have guys hit me up on IG. They hit me up in my DMs and they're like, Levi, I want to find a nice girl. I want to find this. I want I want to, I want to get in a relationship. And I'm like, all right, well, you need to be a man of value. You need to fall in love with yourself first before you fall in love with anybody else. Because if you don't love yourself, what's somebody going to come in and actually love? If you don't feel an intrinsic value within, what is something going to come in and love about you? Somebody can't come and love something about you. And like, And also, you can't rely on other people to build up your self-esteem. It's your self-esteem. That's why I say build it and they will come. If you chase money, it runs. If you chase women, it runs. If you attract money, it comes. If you attract women, they come. But it's just so crazy to me that like a lot of people rely on other people to make them feel good about themselves. It's like, bro, you need to feel good about yourself before anybody else will feel good about you. I saw this one in the Reddit. Dude, this one's good. If passport bros are losers, why are you so mad? <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> but I mean, for real, you ladies bash... Like you bash the the passport bros so hard, but at the end of the day, like these guys are winning. They're getting a woman that's fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids. They're quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, natural, nurturing. More, more than likely, a virgin doesn't have a lot of trauma, doesn't have a lot of baggage. Can get on a man's program, can submit to him, follow his lead. 
ladies, you might want to start taking some notes out of these passport bros, uh, or out of the women that these passport bros get, because these ladies are, are getting in a bag. And I looked up a stat the other day, uh, and we'll bring it up. Uh, single mothers, like single moms by race, it's absolutely crazy. 47% black, 25% Hispanic, 14% white, and 8% Asian. If most of these men are going over to countries where they're Hispanic or even Asian, like these women are doing pretty well. I'm just saying. It's crazy to think. It's crazy to think. The disparity in race as far as what you are uh, when you become a single mother, it's wild to me. It just tells me that you can't pick a good man. It's not the men's fault. It's your fault. Life is a mirror, not a window. Loki, did you have a good time today? He's just ready to get off his place. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the two ebooks, The Four Pillars of Personality and The Four Steps to Style. They make you irresistible to women and respected by men. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.